Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to enable breakpoints and view different settings of Microsoft Dynamics AX server. So um, I'm going to show you in a second, but just so that you know, it's always a good idea to uh, be able to see different settings such as uh, uh, what is uh, the database server running behind the scene uh, for Microsoft Dynamics AX, uh, what are the configuration settings, and uh, how to uh, whether the breakpoints are enabled or disabled. So we're going to go through uh, a real quick demo to see all that uh, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So here's my server. Uh, I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX. What you need to do is that um, uh, click on start and um, you can click on administrative tools or you can go through uh, from search. So I'm gonna, this is Windows 2012. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on admi administrative tools. And up here you will see my, uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 configuration, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 uh, management shell, which will be PowerShell if you wanted to do that, Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 server configuration. So in this demo, we're going to go ahead and uh, click on server configuration. So we're going to click, double click on that. We're going to minimize this. And as you can see right now, it's uh, uh, the original installed configuration. So in order to actually, uh, you can view right now what the what everything is, but you can't, you won't be able to change that. What you need to do is you click on manage, and you click on create configuration, and you, um, what you need to do is just uh, name your uh, configuration, um, my new config that that's what I will name I'm just you can name anything you want to and that what will if we do that it'll allow us to look at and change the configuration if we load my new configuration as soon as I click OK what it's gonna do is actually it's gonna replicate the configuration that's already on Microsoft Dynamics AX and give us chance to modify if we wanted to do that and once the modification is really successful and that's what you wanted you can go ahead and keep that mo modified file so what I'm gonna do is so be careful when you uh, configure name whatever uh, your production naming convention is you should do that if you're directly working in production but I won't ever recommend working in production right away always do dev test and then go to production so I'm gonna go ahead and click my new and active configuration uh, when I click on active configuration, it's going to load right away. So if I click on uh, just the save configuration tab, and then that's when I had to kind of click on here and uh, load my new config. So as soon as you do that, up here there is a second tab that uh, in this uh, uh, demonstration, in this uh, uh, demo, we're going to do enable breakpoints to debug X++ code running on this server. So we're going to click. Uh, yes, and the second part of this uh, 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 question is the view different settings of Microsoft Dynamics AX. So what we're gonna uh, go ahead and do is uh, view the different settings now. Uh, first part is uh, that we enabled breakpoints to debug X plus plus code running on this server. Second is database connection. Database connection, as soon as you click on that, it'll tell you that what SQL Server is connected back behind the scene and what exactly the database is going to connect and what is the base database line, a database name up here. So uh, if you wanted to change something like that, if you uh, do the uh, import export migration um, uh, configuration and you wanted to connect to different uh, database, different database settings and all that, you can do it right here. Uh, just make sure that you go through all these tabs. Database tuning is, um, uh, these are the database tuning settings. Um, again, we're just going to take a look on that. And this is performance, um, uh, you know, settings for this particular um, uh, configuration. So uh, you, what you're going to do is hit apply and um, this will enable breakpoints to debug X++ code running on this server will be um, uh, actually it will take place and it might ask you to restart the services and the configuration has changed but uh, if you wanted to do that configuration then go ahead restart the services otherwise uh, you can cancel out I it's just for the demo purposes just to show you that how to enable breakpoints to debug x++ code running on this server so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel 
and uh, I hope it helps.